Welcome. Franz, um, you play sub-lieutenant, I think it is, sub-lieutenant uh, Ehrenberg again, Norbert, from Kiel, uh, in Schleswig-Holstein. Robert. Robert, sorry, sorry. It's But Robert, Robert is qu it's quite nice, uh, like uh, maybe next season he's, he's got a second name. Yeah, that could be. Uh, sub-lieutenant Ehrenberg um, is still fighting his demons, that was sort of the last pictures we, sh we saw of him in ending season one. How was it to come back and go more in depth with that character because he can't escape the submarines, obviously? I mean, obviously it's quite interesting to have a character which has a kind of uh, need um, and um, who's able to um, get manipulated uh, by uh, a very bad person like Wrangel. Um, and this kind of tension being drug addicted, like being addicted to alcohol, um, to hate Rangel for what he did, but also to be a kind of toy for him. And that makes it very interesting for me as an actor uh, to play with that. And uh, he's getting in serious problems uh, um, after the um, second episode of the second uh, season. It's getting more and more and more. It's really like They planned <laughs> to destroy Ehrenberg uh, on, uh, on, on every thinkable option. Coming back to the first episode of season two, he does something very honorable. And that's sort of the, the last piece of spine he, I think he has. He, he makes a decision, he makes a very tough decision and turns against something and all of a sudden people then turn against him. How difficult was that to play? Because, I mean, he really shows courage and what we would consider as a loyalty because he shows up his, his superiors and confesses something. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? It's interesting um, because, yes, it could be, it could uh, seem like it's a loyalty, but in, uh, first of all, I try to, uh, to play someone who's not a very tough and brave person, uh, who's also afraid um, of uh, getting in conflicts with others, who's just in love with his boat, who wants to do the right thing, and who kinds of wants to die too uh, because he lost his family and there's nothing left except his boat. So he's not a hero and he's not a good German in the end. He just knows that Hoffmann was a kind of friend He was, he was a person that he liked, like deep inside. And um, maybe it's also because Hoffmann had the same name like his son, so there was a connection. And he knew that it was a, a, um, a crime to do this uh, mutiny and uh, to uh, be part of the sabotage that, uh, that Wrangel uh, started. And so there's still this feeling that he's Before he dies, he needs to react and to do the right thing, but not because he's a hero, just because he's going to die anyway. And so before he dies, he should make that clear. Would you, because submarines go into depth, in the deep of the sea, consider that um, Hoffman was some kind of light in the darkness? Him, he was a real person. I mean, I think uh, Ehrenberg is not this kind of romantic person. He's very kind of fucked up in the end. Um, uh, but he had some reaction that he felt when Hoffman was there. And um, I think because he's, Hoffman has also a big backstory, uh, and uh, he has this issue with the, with the father, uh, which Ehrenberg couldn't be for his child. Uh, for his children and um, so there was this kind of uh, connecting and if you ask Ehrenberg maybe the light turned off if there's a problem yeah, no problem so um, um, there was the situation between them and he couldn't tell you what it is why he likes him he just had the feeling it, it is it is like it is and uh, it felt wrong to uh, be part of the sabotage that's the whole thing out of Ehrenberg's view I guess but the good deed he had and the good cause he tried to support turns against him and the monster he tried to kill takes over. 
Could you tell us a little bit more what will happen? Wrangel uh, is making him addicted again uh, to make sure that he is doing what he wants because he's like um, he needs his talent as an um, engineer. engineer. And the story tells the, um, the audience that Ehrenberg is one of the best in his profession. So it was quite important to make sure that uh, he's not, uh, he's not uh, breaking out and uh, trying to get revenge. So he's, giving him, uh, he's forcing him to drink alcohol and um, in this situation he's his addict, addict, uh, addiction uh, toy in the end. So whenever uh, Ehrenberg is trying to bark, uh, Wrang is cutting the alcohol line. And um, this is a quite interesting conflict because um, I think it will be like everyone is waiting for the moment when something is happening. And he's really evil. <laughs> oh yes, he, he, the, the character is really evil. I mean, uh, there are other evils too. But um, now it's 1943, I think, so um, do you also think that at that time, uh, especially at that part, it was falling apart? I mean, they knew already that uh, the submarines were in danger, they weren't that uh, superior anymore. Um, so um, will that be sort of a case too, that um, A, there is a hunter and we can say there is a prey, there are two submarines or two boats, so to speak, and um, that there might be other conflicts because of course the United States meant they weren't sleeping. There was also military and marine already. That's a question of propaganda, and uh, my information is that uh, they were kept away of this information to uh, still f believe in the option that Germany could win. And um, out of the um, U-boat um, view, it went quite good. That's why they still felt as heroes, and uh, they had the feeling there's a chance. Uh, um, to get what they want, but that's not a topic out of Ehrenberg's view. He's just interested in his boat and he's trying to um, flew out of his reality um, uh, out of the city, you know, because he lost everything and the U-boat is the only thing which is left. How was it for you as an actor to come back to that series, to know that there is a second series? Amazing. I mean, um, I'm not getting tired to repeat that out of every project in the last 20 years um, I could be in the boat is the most important for me and the most interesting one um, that I would choose again day by day because uh, the original Peterson movie was had this enormous power and I feel quite privileged to get a, um, a little piece of this adventure um, which uh, which means being inside of a boat, shooting a movie like this, having options like that, uh, and playing with this kind of topic. That's so interesting, I feel very blessed, and um, I could go on for years with uh, being on a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's a stage one, so one can understand that. What else are you doing? Has, have things changed? Or are there more topics or characters, parts offered from abroad? or? Yeah. No, there's no, nothing more from abroad. Um, in the end, I'm still working as an author and an artist. Uh, behind my work as an actor, it's a combination out of all. Um, I understand my work uh, still as, um, as a work of an artistic nature. Uh, um, it's quite interesting because in Germany, many people think uh, if you're an actor, you're, you're just allowed to act. And uh, for example, my wife is uh, French, and uh, there you have a completely different view of uh, being an artist. So maybe uh, I'm, I'm a little more French <laughs> uh, uh, combined with my uh, with my way of work. So, but I'm working every day, and I'm very happy. And like, there's a 
I mean, I could tell you all the movies I'm doing right now, but Do that. I never, I never had a, um, uh, I was never bored, as you can say. Having a French wife, meaning having a French family part, mm -hmm. this is about, well, the part when Germany, or the time part when Germany occupied France, when, of course, nobody was treated nicely, and there was resistance, and how did your wife or your family felt about uh, you playing such a soldier? Were there discussions? So first of all, uh, it's quite a blessing to see that uh, in, in that short period of time, um, enemies can become um, um, partners and um, out of this people, the French, they weren't talking to the Germans like for a long period and now we have the situation that I'm married uh, to a French woman um, I'm, 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 I have the privilege to um, to go everywhere I want and I have a French family, It's everything is connected uh, the German government is working together with the uh, with the French government and so, so you can see um, that the history developed quite good and um, I'm afraid that uh, the last years um, became a little like people were forgetting uh, the privilege of peace and also like uh, the, the, um, the duty uh, that it means to fight for that and I hope that um, making it uh, a topic um, by telling stories like the boat uh, is helping to make people aware to take care of this uh, kind of um, uh, situation that we have right now and um, to answer your question um, my French family is quite um, uh, proud of this uh, of this topic and everyone knows the boat which is one of the single uh, uh, of the rare movies that uh, French people know uh, out of Germany so uh, everyone is very interested and when I was in France uh, shooting in La Rochelle I uh, had a taxi driver and he, he was telling me that uh, already his uh, father was playing in the Peterson film and now he is a kind of um, extra in our series and I, find, I thought it's quite touching to have this kind of passion uh, over there and um, yeah people like it I get in a lot of mails. Thank you so much. Thank you.